Phil Davison here for the 1959 Guitar Company, and this is the Copper Tired bass, the first bass that I've made, and she's come out to be a real winner. The first thing you notice when you take her out of the case is she's got a spruce smell. I mean, this wood is 100 years old. This wood came from an old piano, and it's had music played into it for 100 years, and you can smell the spruce. I don't know how long that will last for. I'm surprised it's lasted as long as it has. Maybe by the time you'll get it, it won't smell at all. But it's a beautiful smell if it's still there. Now, she's quite a chunky, thick body uh, because spruce is quite a light wood. I had to make the body quite thick so that I get the thing to balance, and she does balance quite nicely. If the body's too light, the neck just keeps diving, and that's no good. But now the balance is really nice. Nice, slender, Fender jazz style neck, um, conventional jazz bass style pickups, um, and volume, volume, tone controls down here. What does she sound like? This is this is both pickups on and the tone control at full. Now, if you're listening to this on a laptop, you're not going to hear it. It's a bass. Laptop speakers aren't going to reproduce a bass. You need to be listening to this through headphones or um, decent speakers to hear, hear what she sounds like. You're hearing there's a mic in front of the amplifier. Um, the amplifier is set to be as neutral as possible, so we're trying to hear the sound of the bass rather than the amplifier. Uh, I've also got it running through a DI, so I might mix in some of the DI sound just to uh, make sure you're hearing the sound of the bass, not the sound of the um, not the sound of the amplifier. So. Sorry about my bad bass play. Right, now I'm going to turn the front pickup right off. So now this is just the back pickup. As you can hear, much more nasal. As you'd expect, let's try the tone control halfway. Turn the front pickup on and the back pickup all the way off. Tone control still halfway. Which gives you that nice jazz walking sort of sound. The tone control all the way down, of course she sounds a bit muffled. seems to produce some nice sounds and obviously various shades in between back up to full and let's turn the pickups back on full So there she is, the copper tie bass, beautiful to look at, lovely to play, um, I just love this one, I think this is such a good instrument, really pleased with this one, um, kind of looks like a slab of piano because that's what she is, but she works beautifully. Now the style of this one is obviously pretty much along the lines of a Fender jazz bass, um, but I think she's a good example of that type, she's got a good deep rich sound with some good sparkly highs. Um, spruce seems to be a great wood for a bass. I thought it would be good and it has turned out to be real good. Um, then again, is that just the new strings and the nice pickups? Uh, who can tell? But I'd like to think that 100 years of had music, having music played through this wood is, has imbued it with a little bit of musicality. So there she is. 
flexible instrument. You've got all those good jazz bass sounds from the, the funky pops through to the mellow, deep walking sort of sounds, um, as you'd expect out of a bass of the style. But I think she's a real good example of it. <laughs> 